So we're here in the beautiful and very special, historic St. Theodosius Cathedral here in Tremont, Ohio. And we're talking with a very special person today, Mr. Ken Kovach. And Ken has had many awards in his, his, his career and his life. He's an Ellis Island recipient. He's a member of Cleveland International Hall of Fame, an early inductee, and, and numerous other awards and honors and designations. But today, Ken, we want to talk about uh, an historic achievement of yours. This, this week or this last week, uh, something really major is to be celebrated. So tell us about that. Thank, thank you very much, Dan, and thank you to clevelandpeople.com for your outstanding work in this community. Um, you know, who's, who's keeping track of stuff? Well, I guess you do. And I looked at the calendar, and on June 1st in 1971, I began my musical ministry here at St. Theodosius Cathedral. And, uh, I've seen five or six priests come and go since I've been here, and just right after Pascha, we have another new priest. So uh, I've been blessed to be here as the choir master. Uh, singing in the Orthodox Church is really very important because there's an ongoing dialogue between the, 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 the clergy and, and the choir representing the people. So if, when the priest says, blessed is the kingdom, the people say, amen, okay? And so that's our job. Uh, in the Orthodox Church also, we sing our theology. So we, we anything that we use uh, are things that have been, been, been written by, by saints, by holy fathers. And so everything, like today is the feast of uh, the ascension, and we sang about all those events that are related to the ascension of Jesus into, into heaven. So when you come to the Orthodox Church, listen to what we're singing because that gives you a clue about what's the feast and what's going on. Also, uh, when you look at the vestments and looking at the coverings on the icons and that, they change color too depending on the time of the year. So 50 years here as the choir master, I started, I am the first American-born choir master at St. Theodosius Cathedral. All the choir masters before were born in Russia, were brought over, and I was here at a time when they were making a transition from having two liturgies, one liturgy sung in actually Church Slavonic, and one liturgy in English. There was a new priest, and he wanted to consolidate, so my first job here was to bring together the Russian choir and the English choir into one choir and also then to kind of consolidate the music. So for many years as it started out, we sang in both languages, in the old old Slavonic, which is comparable to Russian, and then also in, and in English. Uh, there was a lot of music written by the former uh, choir director, um, Mr. Baranov, and you know, things were handwritten, so a lot of times the notes didn't match up on the steps and things like that. So I had to rewrite a lot of things. So over 50 years, I've rewritten a lot of things, reorganized a lot of things. Now we sing all in English. However, like for Easter, we'll sing the Easter hymn in a number of different languages, in English and in Spanish and in Greek and in Arabic and in Romanian. So uh, to keep the, the, the multinational uh, kind of character of the Eastern Orthodox Church. Uh, the Eastern Orthodox Church, the Eastern Christian Church, is not that large here in the United States. It's much larger in other countries. So back to my, to my ministry here, uh, I'm, I think about how many people that I have sung for their baptisms, I have sung for their marriages, and I've sung for their funerals. And uh, a lot of the old timers here, we had Cossacks that were used to be part of this parish, and they and I remember for one of the services I actually went to the cemetery wearing a Cossack uniform that I have. I'm an honorary Don Cossack from the Don region in Russia. Uh, our choir has had many generations of people in it. So there's one family that I had: the grandmother, the mother, and the daughter singing here, and particularly in the soprano section. I'm really blessed to have this kind of team that keeps coming in, very, very faithful, and we sing all a cappella. We have no accompaniment whatsoever. Of course, keeping pitch is really a tough thing and, and that, but uh, this choir loft has been my home for 50 years. I've kind of rearranged it many different times and that, 
And um, I think for me, uh, St. Augustine says, he who sings prays twice. So I think in 50 years, man, like 50, maybe that's 100. <laughs> So all the all the services that I, that I've sung here, all the cycles from from Great Lent through Easter, now we're in Ascension, and soon we'll be Pentecost. So that that's my life here. I've tried to bring young people in and keeping older people. We every year we do an annual Christmas concert, which we will do again this year. We couldn't do it last year, and that will be on the Sunday before Christmas. But this cathedral is filled with people. And we choir sings not up in the choir loft, but down front there, uh, in the on the near, in front of the icon screen, and uh, we present not it's not just a concert, but also kind of narrative about the nativity. And we will sing music that is related to different parts of the nativity, something from the the yearly cycle in the Orthodox Church. Um, hard to believe, 50 years has gone by, and 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 yet I'm. You say I'm ready for 50 more, God, God willing, but it's, it's, it's God willing. When you started, were, were you a member of the choir and, and just eventually evolved to become choir no, master? No, not at all. I was hired from outside. Okay. okay? Um, I had graduated from actually three different theological seminaries. After high school, I went right into seminary for four years, undergraduate. In the Orthodox Church, we have married clergy, clergy who are married. You have, if you want to be married and be a priest, you have to be married before you're ordained. Once you're ordained, you have to remain celibate. So I wasn't ready to get married. I went, then came back to Cleveland for my degree at Case Western Reserve, then back to seminary, another seminary for two more years. Uh, there I met my wife in New York City and we got married at St. Vladimir Seminary there. And I had a fellowship from the World Council of Churches, and we were off for our first year of marriage in Europe. Seven months in Geneva, Switzerland, and uh, four months in Paris, France. Tough break, but somebody <laughs> had to do it. And uh, so we came back here, and I was filling in a couple of different places, and then I was approached by the parish council here at St. Theodosius, saying, uh, we're interested in you, and would you be interested in us? And thus, June 1st, 1971, began the uh, the journey for me at St. Theodosius. And, uh, you know, our, our patron saint is St. Theodosius of Chernigov. Now, Chernigov is now was part of Ukraine, but uh, it was part of Russia then. But at the time this church was being consecrated uh, and being blessed, you know, he was being made a saint, okay? He was canonized. So there were no churches in the United States for St. Theodosius. So I guess. St. Theodosius and I have been pretty close for, for 50, 50 years here. Tell us about that uh, medallion you're wearing. Well, this medallion here is the Order of St. Romanus. This is the highest order that a musician, a singer in the church can receive. And I got this a couple, just a couple of years ago before pandemic uh, for my service here at St. Theodosius Cathedral. And I think at that time it was like, only 45 years, something like that. So uh, I, this is quite an honor because St. Romanus was the melodist. He was the composer of many early psalms in the early Christian church. And so this is an honor that I really wear very proudly. And uh, I do want to I almost forgot. I mean, one of the highlights of my 50 years here is being in the deer hunter. And uh, I don't know, it's like 30 years ago now that Deer Hunter, the um, multi-academy award-winning film was shot here where I'm standing now. I, this is the, there was George Zunz up in the choir loft here singing with me and we had the wedding downstairs with Father, uh, uh, one of our earlier priests here and, but I was on the set for a month and Michael Cimino, the director, was what first came to the church here, he was directed to St. Theodosius by the Ohio Film Bureau. The Ohio Film Bureau said, you ought to go to St. Theodosius, look for a really great cathedral, okay? So he met with the parish council and Michael Chimino said, what about music? So he had talked to the choir director. So Michael Chimino came to my home and listened, listened to music together and I kind of helped him with that, all the music for the wedding and then for when we went over to Lemco Hall, all the, the folk dancing and the folk singing that went on there. So. For a whole month, I was here and uh, got to meet Robert De Niro and Meryl Streep and Junza, uh, 
Christopher Walken and some, and that was their beginning of their careers at that time. But who would think that that movie shot here would actually win so many Academy Awards? And I remember, you know, it's a pretty rough movie. It's about a bunch of young ethnic men who like to go hunting together, and then they go, some of them go off to Vietnam, and it's not a very happy thing what happens to them in Vietnam. So when we did a little premiere here in Cleveland and show the movie, some of our older ethnic ladies here like, whoa, the language that they were using. But I mean, hey, this is Tremont. This has been a hard working class neighborhood where people uh, use that language. So anyway, but the deer hunter. And so uh, I know I was uh, thinking, maybe I'll get nominated for the best Russian Orthodox <laughs> choir director for an Academy Award, but uh, that never happened. No, it's all politics. It's all politics, yeah. <laughs> But that was real hoot, and I mean, that was an incredible experience. Now, I know besides the, uh, the, the choir master position here at St. Theodosius, you're involved with the uh, Cuyahoga Cossacks, so you're yes. still singing. Tell us about so that. The, the Cuyahoga Cossacks is a group of men um, who all sing in different choirs throughout Greater Cleveland. Uh, there are two of us that are choir directors, and uh, there's been a long tradition of uh, folk singing comes from Russia, and so our group wanted to maintain some of those traditions of old Russian folk singing. So we sing uh, traditional Russian folk song, we sing Cossack songs, and to keep that heritage moving along and pass it on, it's, it's fun to do that, and we get together. And so, uh, I remember I mentioned that I'm an honorary Don Cossack, the Don River. Well, what we have here is the Cuyahoga River, so I said, let's call ourselves the Cuyahoga Cossacks, and so that's that's our name. So our videos have been over there in Volgorod to the Don Cossacks, and we got some nice reviews from them. They said it was a kind of neat thing. So we like to do that. We sing both uh, folk songs, but also uh, our religious songs to other uh, liturgical music. Now people can hear just from your speaking voice what a great voice you have. So, well, well, my voice. Is from... <laughs> <laughs> I can't let you go if you would, if you give us uh, ten seconds or so of a, just. Singing something for us. Not to put you on the spot. Okay. Okay. И остави нам долги наши, як уже и мы оставляем должником нашим. И не веди нас во искушение, но избави нас от лукава. That's the Lord's Prayer sung in Slavonic, Our Father who art in heaven. That's terrific. All right, we're celebrating here 50 years. Ken Kovac, a special person, uh, choir master here at St. Theodosius Cathedral. And I guess all we can say is Don Svidania. Do Svidania. Spasiba, spasiba.